10 weird stereotypes about americans always enjoy checking out these kind of videos before we do get into this i appreciate you guys can add subscribe button let's just straight into this and check out some myths so if you guys saw my video on monday you'll know i did a list of 10 weird things americans think about irish people okay. and to throw things into the balance i thought today i would do 10 weird things irish people are really just people from not america think about american people right and i threw it out to you guys what do you americans actually think that people around the world think of you and you kind of came back to me with the normal stuff you said that people think that you're <laughs> or you're <laughs> or that you really like uh. what's happening here <laughs> well yeah yeah what was she saying bro i can see that but why because it's supposed to be a weird list that's a standard list right weird Fair point. Okay, coming in at number 10. Okay. Non Americans think Americans just smile all the time. Okay, let's look at this one. Right. Yes, American people are very friendly. They do smile a lot. Many of them work on commission. And to be fair, you guys have them good teeth. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Some people have a phobia about that. When people touch hey, them. you guys need to stop, man. And you know, you guys need to stop with the team joke, bro. You come into my streams all the time. You're always like, oh, if I mention anything like, yo, I'm going to the dentist because I'm going to the dentist today. It happened yesterday, actually. I said, I'm going to the dentist. And America was like, oh, you guys have them in the UK? I'm like, bro, bro, come on. <laughs> Their teeth. Do you? But yeah, you guys have great dental care over there. So why wouldn't you smile all the time? Right, fair enough. But of course isn't the case for everybody there are sure some grumpy americans too i have to say overall you do seem excessively friendly and i would say so for what i've americans seen. this can seem a little fake and let's be fair if somebody is working on commission it is a little fake but <laughs> no 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 but like even when i watch like vlog kind of videos right when it's based in america you will see more smiley random people than if you see a vlog in the uk if you see a vlog in the uk bro they're just walking around like this you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, you do notice it. If somebody's nice to me in a shop, it does make me feel nice. It makes me want to buy things. So, true. That I'm going to give true. you a pass. Next up, that you all drive big trucks and SUVs. A lot of is times when I'm watching reality television shows, I do see people in these big jeepy things or excessively large cars that you could have your dinner in the back of or whatever. Right. <laughs> but do I think that everybody in America has those type of cars? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't see an awful lot of, like, Peugeots. Right, listen, I don't think every single American is driving a big, big car. But the majority, I would say, it seems like you do, right? Like, bigger than our cars. There are Toyotas on the road. You know the little ones, the standard ones? Everybody in Ireland has a Ford Focus. Like, the whole world has a Ford Focus. Right. Not everybody. That's a generalization. This is a list. It's full of them. But yeah, from the perspective of a foreign person, you do tend to have a lot of big cars compared okay. to normal people. Compared to normal people. But I'm quite sure that you're not all going around driving Jeeps and SUVs. Yo, or let me know in the comments, what car do you drive and would you classify as a big car? Although I have been told I that to when know. I get to Texas, I should look out for that. We've hired a medium-sized car, but we're kind of hoping they're going to upgrade us to a large car. We shall see. Cross right. your fingers for us. Next up, all American people believe in aliens. I believe in aliens. I actually personally think it's bizarre to imagine a concept Yo. of a world where we on Earth are the only living beings okay. in the entire universe. Like facts, right? Listen, 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 listen. Right, that's a funny stereotype right there, right, about you guys. But I feel like personally, I believe in aliens. I feel like it would be dumb not to. But I don't think they visited Earth yet. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think they visited Earth yet. You guys might think they have. I personally don't think they have. But, universe is too big, bro. It would be... I would be a lot more scared if there were no aliens and we, we genuinely were alone, right? In this big, big, big universe than if there were aliens. I'd be more scared if we was alone, bro. But, yo... That's a topic for another day, man. That can't be the case. My mind is open to a lot of things, but we do see a lot of those, you know, people on farms who talk about their crops, crop circle things. And also 
we hear a lot about like this person was taken away in the middle of the night i mean some of those could be real but probably not all of them but if there are Definitely people out there who them. believe there is no such thing as aliens i would have to say you're wrong people <laughs> aliens do exist but they might not you're be wrong. the big green things with the big black eyes that we all think of i don't know no 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 if you genuinely don't think the aliens are out there other living things then just watch a video on how big actually is the universe and your mind will be blown. And if you watch that video and you still don't think, then I, d I don't know what to say to you, bro. I don't know what to say to you, bro. Oh, what's I think I know by now. <laughs> oh God, I'm in conflict with myself. The next thing that non-American people think about Americans, that's a long sentence. Let's try and make it shorter for the title, shall we? I always say that and then the title's just as convoluted as I imagined. <laughs> we tend to think America is just like the movies. So on okay, one of that's my most true. successful videos, people have been kind of saying, oh, the whole of America isn't just LA, but right. LA is what the rest of the world is presented with, LA or New York. And there's okay. a whole middle America to see, which- Well, I don't know. If you watch like Western movies and stuff like that, you see different parts of America. But I don't know, from videos I've seen of Europeans going to America, they always say it's just like the movies. So, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. You guys let me know. Is it like the movies over there? You know, things going well here. I'm gonna do and tell you all about right here on the channel. But we do accept that the versions we see in movies are exaggerated versions. Do you okay, I think sure. meat cutes are real? Probably. I hope Wait, to fall exaggerated versions. Do I think meat cutes are real? Probably. What's that? I hope to fall out of a taxi when I'm in Texas. We'll see. <laughs> but one thing I never <laughs> really understood looking at TV and movies in America is the kind of places that people can live in like take friends for example all the people of friends had pretty low to middle end jobs and they lived in the middle of new york city in a huge apartment like that's not right we're aware <laughs> that things are exaggerated on movies and television but you know a, Yo. little, a little tiny bit of us is quite heavily influenced by looking at those and does a wee tiny bit right think they're true okay but i know fair enough but yeah the next one is actually kind of pretty cool you guys really know where you come from and as a place that's full of immigrants going back generations and generations right. i could not tell you my roots and stuff at all yeah i've noticed that a lot like if you ask an american where they're from and like the heritage they, they most likely like you guys correct me if i'm wrong but you guys will most likely know your heritage right where's that in the uk nobody really cares about it like nobody really talks about it that much unless like you got like a parent that's from a different country nobody really like you know brings it up or anything they, they, they wouldn't even know i could probably take one of those dna test things but i kind of tend to think they're full of rubbish and also that they're potentially collecting our dna for the future you're on so the system back to us so it's to make us younger conspiracy theories wow well, Today's kind of turned into a conspiracy theory video. Yo, I love diving into uh, conspiracies, bro. Just for fun, man. I should I should do more videos on, on a different channel. I do have two other channels, by the way. One where we do horror and one where we do random stuff, right? Both links in the description if you want to check them out. No, which wasn't my intention, but yeah. How many conspiracies does Diane buy into? Pretty much all of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just open. I'm open to the ideas. But I like aside that. That's from cool. knowing where you come from, you're really, really into being American. Like you right. hang American flags everywhere as if like, wow, America. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just an odd thing. We hang flags we here don't do like that. with a match on or something, but not so much just on the reg. I'm anticipating there being a lot of flags in Texas, but we'll see. Anyway, right. I kind of think it's cool that, you know... That is true. In the UK, bro, you only see flags when, like, there's big football games on. But that's about it. Come from. I would a little tiny bit like to know exactly where I come from, but I may never find out, so... Because no. they want to clone me. The world <laughs> couldn't handle two of me. <clears throat> okay. Already is. The next thing that we think about Americans is that you're all kind of rich. Okay, I know this one isn't exactly okay. true, but I've come to believe that a lot of you rely on credit. Okay, I, I, I don't know what she's saying about this here, but not that I think you guys are rich. Richer? Yes. But I don't think everyone in America is rich, obviously, right? Obviously not. Like, there's homeless people, there's, you know, low-income earners, middle, right? Same as the UK. But on average... 
you guys tend to seem like you got more money than the average person in the UK. Does that make sense? Like, like nicer houses, bigger houses, better jobs, more earnings. So, on average, not everyone. Let me just clarify, not everyone, bro. Not every one of you, but okay. a lot of you. And the reason I think this is because I watch a lot of Dr. Phil Catfish episodes and I see these people who are not by any means out of the norm people. They're like, right. I sent $100,000 to this person in Canada, but the person actually happens to be in a completely different <laughs> not Canada place and they're just like, the yeah. ones. But Yo, I'm you weren't here that in the UK, man. People don't have 100K, dude. We don't have 100k in the banks. The different not Canada place and they're just like the hedging funds. But I'm like, where did your $100,000 come from, Jim Bob? Like, where did it come from? And as it turns out, credit cards. Also, you see those people uh -huh. on bride sites and stuff try to land Americans. And yeah, I'm just like, where's all your money coming from? But yeah, people not American kind of tend to think Americans are rich. But we Wait, wait, wait. You could just get 100k on a credit card? Just like that? I thought it'd be like near to impossible to get 100k unless you're already loaded. You also kind of know you're you're not like all rich. Maybe you are. Check out my Patreon because it's rich great people. fun over there. <laughs> the next one is that you guys talk a lot. And I have to say this one is kind of true. In a okay. lot of societies in Europe, we tend to be a little bit reserved. Would that mean I'll fit in well with America then? Because uh, a lot of you guys say I talk a lot. <laughs> Do I talk a lot? Yo, you don't even have to say it, bro. I already know I do. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. The bad comments I've seen people say, oh, you pause and talk so much. Bro, it's a reaction, man. What do you want me to do? You want me to say it in silence? Bro, <laughs> come on, man. Hey, just let me talk, dude. In Ireland, we obviously love the bants. We can have the bants with a lot of people, but we also approach it with this a funny kind of reservedness whereas americans will just jump right into it and i think that's actually a really good thing right there I are like other that. places in europe like france or whatever where you definitely wouldn't just strike up a random conversation okay. i kind of have this feeling like the americans make friends hard and fast and then they go away it's not a lifelong friendship <laughs> whereas you'll find an irish person is like hey where are you going we're friends now come back but yeah sounds next, creepy you guys eat really fast here we tend... Oh, that's where I'll be the odd one out, bro. Even in the UK, I eat slow. I have a very... I, have a, I don't know what it is, but I got a fear of choking. Bro, I can even choke on rice. It's weird, right? I've All my life, I've had a fear of choking, dude. And I can't eat fast. I have to be careful, man, because, bro, it's scary, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's some sort of <laughs> illness or something like that. I don't know, bro. Yo, if any doctors watching this, man... Yo, please help me out. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should go and check it out. I don't know. To sit around a table and chat or sit around the telly and chat. Whereas in America, I found that even when I'm eating out, you guys tend to take people's plates away even before other people have finished eating, which actually is right. considered really bad manners in Europe. Yeah. But Obviously, it's that cultural difference, actually, well. so when you go to America, you're aware that it's not rude there. That's just what they do. Okay, They're trying to be efficient. But whenever I've eaten with American friends, I've found I'm always about a third of the way through and they are finished their meal, which doesn't bode well for me when I'm going to be doing an eating challenge when I get to Texas. <laughs> so good luck to me. Hey, yeah, good luck, man. But we're going to give it a shot. Good luck. And the last thing that we tend to think is that American people are not so... I'm trying to think of the right word. Modesty isn't the right word. Conservative with their bodies isn't the right word. Ah. I can't. Okay, basically what I'm trying to say is you guys don't really, you guys have to big. well, it's, you know when you go to the bathroom and you have the big gaps in the doors? You guys don't seem to mind that. It's really, I go. Wait, to wait, wait, that was sounding so messed up, bro. She was saying you guys are not conservative with your bodies. <laughs> Bodies with your bodies. Gaps in the doors. You guys don't seem to mind that. It's really, I go to the bathroom in America and I'm like putting tissue papers up on the. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Looking at this picture right here, there's no way I would be able to take a dump in this toilet, bro. Because like, yo, people will be able to see you just like, like doing your dump face. Nah, <laughs> nah, bro. Yo, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. How do you guys feel about this picture right here? If this is a toilet in America. Yo, in the UK, 
right? The toilet doors will come right to the bottom. Like you can't even, you can't even, even if you look under, you'll barely be able to see a ship. And there's definitely not a gap in the door like that. Things, because people can see in, but that doesn't seem to be a thing in America. People don't look in. Not that they would here. It's just all right. our gaps close here. Yeah, it's not the fact that we, like, I think people would look in. I don't think people is going to be in there looking in, like, staring in, because, bro, if they are, you got a problem, man. That's a creep. You know what I'm saying? But it's just the fact that, like, they could, right? You know what I mean? The possibility is there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can see out the... No, nah, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to have a peaceful dub. <laughs> I don't know. Why do you have those gaps in your doors? Also, I guess because of the weather and stuff, you tend to wear bikinis or swimwear right, a lot. Sense. And not, not really mind that. Here, if somebody gets out a little bit of leg, it's like... You got some leg, but that's kind of changing a lot more recently. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you see people in bikinis walking, like if you see people in the UK walking in bikinis, people are gonna be like, ah, "What are they doing?" People are flaunting their bodies on social media and stuff right, like fairs. that. So, um, yeah, and that's it for my list for today. That was let good. Let me know if there are any weird ones. I really do enjoy videos. Make sure you guys do let me know in the comments any other stereotypes or myths that you guys hear about yourself that you want to let me know. That make the comment section really fun. So make sure you do that. If you guys did enjoy. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash l3wg. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.